What is going on guys? It's the Flying Dutchman here and in today's video I'm going to show you guys the best way to sex pigeons. Now there's multiple ways to do this, okay? And my best way, I know several ways and I could tell you a couple and I'll do a video on um, how to do the other one uh, another day. But this video is going to be the most simple. I've made a video on it before, but I've got some more subscribers, and I've got a couple questions from guys on how to sex pigeons. Now, the best way to do this, okay, um, for beginners, if you have an older bird, okay, what you need to do is make sure um, that... So you have an older bird, and you don't know if it's a male or a female, right? Uh, so, all you have to do, okay, is this bird is a female. How do I know this, okay? Well, one, it's laid eggs before. But, that isn't how I know. I know by a special bone that all birds have, known as a vent bone, okay? All you have to do is flip your bird over like this. Now, yes, this does scare the bird for a little bit, okay? But if you lay down the legs like this, okay? Right in between the legs, right here, okay? So you go down the keel, and the keel is right, ends right here, okay? Then right at the end of the keel is two bones that are like this. It should feel like if you took your fingers like that, um, and right here is what they call the vent bones. And the vent bones are where the egg goes to pass through. So if you have an older male, and you're not quite sure if it's a male, go ahead and feel right here. And this does not work 100% of the time, guys. The only way to know 100% is if you watch them lay eggs. That's, that's the only way. Or watch them breed with another male which I'll get to in a second. But this bird right here, okay, these vent bones, which are right at the end of the keel, above the legs, right here, okay? This is where the vent bone is. And this vent bone is where the egg goes to pass through. So females will have a spread out vent bone. It could feel like that, it could feel like this, it could just barely be separated, okay? But, Females will have a open vent bone, okay? Next, I will get a male. So, this is a cockbird, okay? Obviously, quite bigger from that my hen that I just had right? But if you feel these vent bones, you will learn that they are touching. They are like this. No egg has passed through this bird, okay? And this is an old bird. That's, that's how you know. And that's all there is to it, guys. It's pretty simple. Um, if males, if you have a bird that has laid eggs, its vent bones will be spread apart. If you have a male, Obviously, that has never laid eggs. Their vent bones will be touching. Another way you could test this, okay, is by taking a bird. Okay, so another way you could do this is you put a cock bird and a hen together. Two birds that you think would make a good mate. All you do, and if you're not sure about either of them, make sure it's warm outside when you do this. But when you do this, you should see that the cock bird will, in fact, try to court the hen. He will do a dance, um, is what it's called, a courting dance. And this dance consists of a open tail um, pointed towards the ground and spinning around. He'll also go like this with his head. Like he'll kind of... It, 
he'll coo at the same time. It's it's kind of a strange thing, and I don't know how to describe it, and I wish he would do it to you right now, um, but they're kind of nervous. But, um, the hen will not do anything. Now, another thing you could do is if you're not sure if you have a hen, is you could put a hen, or one that you think is a hen, in a cage and single it out, okay? Put it in there for a day. Then what you do, let it wait until it's used to its thing. Then it will start to sleep in a thing like this, right? That's just a cardboard box, but it works as a nesting box for right now. Um, then what will end up happening, if you put another hen in there, that hen will be territorial. She will be territorial of the said box. She won't want that other hen in there. She will try to fight. Now, you guys will be able to tell an obvious difference between courting and fighting. And I will show you what fighting is like um, for a short second. Okay. So as you can see, they are both cooing. They are sizing each other up. They're putting their necks up high and they're facing each other and they're pecking. Now, as you saw, the male would never be this aggressive with a hen unless he was courting. Now, there is dominant males that will fight a hen and what will, the hen will fight the male. Okay, that's, that's common. That's very common. But what you see here, notice that wing twitch? He wants to hit the male. He does not want the male up there. And since I'm talking so loud, they're both like, what's going on, you know? But, um, as I did say, a male will never just always fight another male. And this will only happen when you first put that male in there. Eventually, they'll get used to tight spaces with each other. But, you guys will be able to see this. You'll be able to look at it and go, okay, well, this is like, see... That cockbird, the, the lavender, is a male. And he's fighting that one. And if it were a hen, he would not be so territorial. I promise you that. In fact, he would try to court her. But this is two males not getting along. Um, as I said, so two genders, both hen and hen, you put them in the same cage, they will fight. For At first, at first. And you have to be good at reading behavior so this doesn't work for everybody. Best way to tell is the vent, vent bones, guys. Easiest way to tell. But if you take a cock and a cock and put them in together, they will square each other up. They will, you know, be territorial. If you put a hen and a cock in the same cage in a tight quarter, most likely, I like to do use a dominant cock. The, the lavender is a very dominant male. He loves to... Uh, you know, he loves to scalp and just try to uh, to mount the hen automatically. He wasn't doing it as much as I thought with that, but I had them paired up for a while, so I believe that he might, um, I mean a while meaning like a couple days, so I believe that he might actually be paired with her already. Um, now, if I were to put this hen in there, they both would uh, put their attention on the hen. So as I said, guys, you have to be really good at reading behavior for this. But this is a good way to tell if you're experienced. This is a good. This is one of the best ways to tell. Um, but it could confuse you more if you have uh, young birds and you put young birds in. I've had cocks mount young birds, other male cocks. It's just weird, and so it can confuse you. So take discretion when you do this. Um, but as I said, this is one of the two ways you could do it. Um, there's actually a third way. And you could go check out my friend uh, Bradley Popel, or uh, Popel's Pigeon, as, I, as his channel is called, Popel's Pigeons. And um, he's done a video on how to sex pigeons. Uh, it's a pretty good way. It's more of a, um, I don't know what you would call it. I wouldn't say magic, but it's like a, a voodoo way. And it's by taking a piece of metal and... Um, and a string and holding it over the bird and the bird will um, depending on the sex the string will actually start swinging in a specific way but draft drafty rooms can affect this again none of these are a hundred percent and some of them may just confuse you more uh, there's exceptions at all with pigeons best way to tell put them together if they lay you got a hen <laughs> so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something um, if you guys have any comments or uh, something you would like to say to me, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below, and I will respond. 
And um, also, I'd love for you guys to check out Hidden Hollow Loft. Um, he's a great guy, and he's I've been a fan of his channel ever since I've been flying birds. Um, I first got into the hobby, and I was just binging videos, finding out research, and I've been subscribed uh, to his channel ever since I started flying pigeons. So go check out uh, Pop L's Pigeons and check out Hidden Hollow Loft. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, Flying Dutchman out. Keep flying, guys.